Hey guys, it's raining outside and I'm super excited to just have some fun today and I am going to be transforming my Christmas hot cocoa bar to a Valentine's hot cocoa bar. So I hope that you enjoy. If you do, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get started. Look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you. The first thing that I'm doing is cleaning off this sled. I got this sled in the Target dollar spot for Christmas decor and I'm just going to be reusing it. I could have left it saying hot cocoa bar, but I saw this quote online and I thought it was so cute. And so I'm just going to write this cute quote up there and put it right back in the same spot. I am using fat chalk. Um, I did not want to buy anything new, and so you're going to see me get kind of creative. And I kind of like to do this. It's a little bit of a challenge. Um, this chalk is my kid's chalk, and it was actually wet because it got rained on. So when I first started writing, it looks a little bit dark, but you'll see it lights up, and it almost looks like a very, very light pink or white. The next thing that I'm doing is starting to take some of the Christmas stuff down. So I put away some of the coffee cups that I had over in my Christmas hot cocoa bar and tried to find anything that looked like Valentine's um, appropriate for my Valentine's hot cocoa bar. And I found the perfect cup, so I'm going to show it to you in just a second. I'm trying to use things I have around the house and I found this cup that we got a long time ago. It reminded me of Leonidas who is my three-year-old now but when he was a baby and still now his hugs are literally fierce. Like he really really gives you hugs and I saw this at Target and I had to get it and this is perfect. So I'm going to try to go with like a red, pink, and white theme and so this is just a very simple cup that has this cute little heart and sweet Quote on it. So I'm going to go with this and then just um, a simple like white thermos for to go hot cocoa. decided to put the small amount of marshmallows that I had left into the little tin and then I'm going to place hot cocoa um, filling or mix <laughs> into the larger um, mason jar. You can see that I definitely poured a bunch out. I cleaned that up and it was a better choice for me to put the hot cocoa mix into the mason jar with a measuring cup. Definitely better. to add some candies that were pink and red to my hot cocoa bar for Valentine's Day, but um, I didn't want to go out and buy any, and I am so embarrassed to say that we still have so much Halloween candy that we're probably not going to eat, so I thought I'd go through the Starburst especially, like we just don't really eat them that much, and look for the pink and red, so that's what I did, and they fit pretty well in um, even though I kind of overflowed it into this little tin. Now those little tins are actually from We, the O-U-I, that's how it's spelled, the yogurts. I just keep them and it's so, I love those little tins to keep their little glasses, I should say, after um, we eat that yogurt. And sometimes I will buy that yogurt because I want another one of them because they can be used as little cups or little decor pieces. And I even used one as a little riser. to start placing everything over near the Keurig where we usually heat up hot water and we actually don't even really use this for coffee. Um, so I'm going to use this classic, I guess I'll call it a riser. This was from my mother-in-law. Thank you, Sandy. She always watches and she was super supportive from her family. 
um, to raise up the cutest little coffee cup. And I'm gonna play with these and move things around until I like them. But one hint I have is to make sure that there are differences in height. So that's why I used one of the little wheat yogurt um, glasses to raise one of the candies a little bit higher than the other. Here is the finished product of my Valentine's Hot Cocoa Bar. I'm going to show you one last small addition, so stick around for that. This towel and the other one that's by the bar last year at the Target Dollar Spot and I think they're so cute and perfect for the bar. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I typically post cleaning motivation and sometimes decor on my channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Morning.